Hey Wildcats, Jeff Corpy here with NMU Housing and Residence Life. I hope everybody is doing well and that you're staying safe and healthy and that you're ready to take on all the challenges that Finals Week has to offer. In order to make it a little easier, a few of us are offering some, some maybe some tips or some, some ways that you can get a little extra rest and relaxation this week. And I've been asked to read you a nighttime story. And so if you're not already, go ahead and tuck yourself in, put your head on your pillow and get ready to listen to the soothing words of the three little bears. One of my favorite stories as a kid. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. They lived in a little house in the forest. But they wish they lived in family housing. They had three chairs. A great big chair for the papa bear, a middle-sized chair for the mama bear, and a wee little chair for the baby bear. And upstairs, there were three beds. A great big bed for the papa bear, a middle-sized bear for the mama bear, and a wee little bed for the baby bear. One morning, the mama bear was making some yummy porridge for breakfast. She filled a great big bowl for the papa bear, a middle-sized bowl for the mama bear, and a wee little bowl for the baby bear. Yum. But the porridge was too hot to eat. So the three bears went out for a walk in the forest. Papa Bear found some mushrooms. That same morning, a little girl named Goldilocks was walking through the woods. She came to the three bears' house, and she knocked on the door, but nobody called, Come in! So she opened the door and went in anyways. That's a student code violation. Goldilocks saw the three chairs. She sat in the big chair. It was too hard. The middle-sized chair was too soft. The baby chair was just right, but it broke when she sat on it. Now Goldilocks spied the porridge. I'm hungry, she said to no one. So she tasted the porridge. The porridge in the big bowl was too hot. I bet you know where this is going. The porridge in the middle-sized bowl was too cold. The porridge in the wee little bowl was just right. So she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went upstairs and tried the beds. The great big bed was too hard. The middle-sized bed was too soft. But the wee little bed was oh so nice. So Goldilocks laid down and went to sleep. I wouldn't try that. Then home through the forest and back to their house came the three bears. The great big bear, the middle-sized bear, and the wee little baby bear. I wonder what Papa Bear is smoking. The moment they stepped into the house, they saw that someone had been there. Hump, said the Papa Bear in, the, in his great big voice. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Land sake, said the Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Oh dear, cried the Baby Bear in his wee little voice. Someone has been sitting in my chair and has broken it all to bits. Then they all looked to the table. Humph, said the Papa Bear in his great big voice, someone has been tasting my porridge. And someone has been tasting my porridge, said the Mama Bear. Someone has eaten all my porridge up, said the Baby Bear sadly. Then up the stairs went all three bears with a thump, 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 and a trot, 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 and a skippity, skip, skip. That was the, the wee little Baby Bear at the end. Hump, said the Papa Bear in his great big voice, someone has been sleeping in my bed. And someone has been sleeping in my bed, said the Mama Bear. I wonder why they don't sleep together. Oh dear, cried the Baby Bear in his wee little voice, and someone has been sleeping in my bed, and she's here right now. Goldilocks opened her eyes, and she saw the three bears. Oh, said Goldilocks. She was so surprised, she jumped right out the window and ran all the way home. And she never saw the house in the forest again. Um, not exactly the messages I remember as a kid. Um, I hope you don't take this all to heart. We got a little breaking and entering, a little destruction of property, a little fleeing the scene. Um, nothing I would recommend for any of our students. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the story, maybe not just the moral of it. And I hope that uh, you have a really good rest of your week. And we can't wait to see you back here in the fall. I hope everyone has a great summer. And we'll talk soon. Goodbye, y'all.